Every year, the United States loses billions of dollars to fraud schemes and loan scams. Fraud schemes are sometimes executed by using the identity information of innocent people in order to avoid being detected, as in today's story. Welcome to today's episode of Fraud Files. We'll be discussing the case of a Greenberg nurse practitioner, Catherine Seamer, who was accused of stealing millions in a loan fraud scheme. To make sure you don't miss any of the details in this story, make sure to watch it all the way to the conclusion. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Let's get straight to it. The FBI arrested the 42-year-old Catherine Seamer, a nurse practitioner, on federal charges of wire fraud, financial aid fraud, and aggravated identity theft. She was accused of forging signatures and using doctor's pedigree information to certify disability diagnoses that resulted in the discharge of more than $10.5 million in loans for at least 125 people. Seymour allegedly participated in the scheme from June 2017 to March 2022 by using a loan relief service she established. According to a complaint filed by Special Agent Anthony Persaud of the United States Department of Education's Office of the Inspector General, she would submit documentation certifying disabilities, mostly bipolar disorder, but also schizophrenia, multiple sclerosis, and post-traumatic stress disorder for 10% to 20% of the loan amount. According to the complaint, which was filed in U.S. District Court in White Plains, borrowers were unaware that the applications for loan discharge relied on them being permanently disabled. Many people believe they qualified because they cared for an elderly or disabled relative, and none of the borrowers had ever met any of the dozen doctors who were used to provide the diagnosis. Seymour allegedly obtained discharges for privately issued student loans in addition to the $10.5 million in discharged federal loans. In one instance, Seymour is accused of assisting a borrower who was caring for a disabled relative in getting out of a $100,000 student loan by claiming they were bipolar. The borrower contacted Seymour after learning about the application and that it required them to be permanently disabled. According to the complaint, she persuaded them that phrases in the application such as you and your could refer to a family member, but they don't broadcast that to everyone, she said, in a bid to avoid being discovered. The Total and Permanent Disability Discharge Program is designed to help ease the financial burden of those who suffer from permanent physical or mental disabilities, including military veterans who suffer from service-related disabilities," said U.S. Attorney Damian Williams. According to the allegations, the defendant defrauded this program for her own benefit. She stole the identities of over a dozen doctors and falsified the disabilities of over 100 borrowers to profit from the multi-year scheme, which resulted in the fraudulent discharge of over $10.5 million in loans. This office, in collaboration with our law enforcement partners, will continue to vigilantly protect the integrity of critical programs designed to assist those in greatest need. As alleged, Ms. Seymour fraudulently orchestrated the discharge of student loans in excess of $10 million on behalf of more than 100 borrowers she led to believe were eligible for various forms of student loan relief, said FBI Assistant Director in Charge Michael J. Driscoll. She eventually made over a million dollars in ill-gotten gains by charging borrowers fees in exchange for her services. The action we took today demonstrates the FBI's commitment to protecting government programs from fraudsters who seek to undermine them for personal gain. Tracking down those who cheat the federal student aid programs is a priority of our office, said Terry Harris. The OIG is committed to combating all forms of student aid fraud and we will continue to pursue anyone who participates in these types of crimes. Seymour orchestrated a scheme to fraudulently discharge millions of dollars in student loans for borrowers who did not qualify for relief under the Federal Total and Permanent Disability Discharge Program, or its private analog, from June 2017 to March 2022. Seymour deceived over 100 borrowers into believing they qualified for various forms of student loan relief and charged them fees, often between 10 and 20 percent of the loan amount, to facilitate their loan discharge process as part of the scheme. She then used the borrower's personal identifying information to submit fraudulent applications for student loan discharge based on non-existent permanent physical and mental disabilities. Seymour falsified medical diagnoses and disability certification using stolen identities, medical license numbers, and forged signatures of over a dozen medical doctors in support of these applications. 
the scheme resulted in the wrongful discharge of over $10.5 million in disability-based relief program loans. Seamer is estimated to have earned at least $1 million as a result of the scheme. Catherine Seamer was charged with one count of wire fraud, which carries a maximum prison sentence of 20 years, one count of federal financial aid fraud, which carries a maximum prison sentence of five years, and one count of aggravated identity theft, which carries a maximum consecutive sentence of two years. And here we come to the end of today's episode of Fraud Files regarding a Greenberg nurse practitioner, Catherine Seamer, who was accused of stealing millions in a loan fraud scheme. Remember, healthcare providers should stick to the healthcare instead of the fraud. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe to our channel and push on that like button. Stay tuned to our channel for amazing videos like this one by clicking the bell icon. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section below about this event. We will see you in another Fraud file soon. Remember that fraud is a serious violation of law and order, and violators of law always end up behind bars. In a world filled with deception, corruption, and lies, let us be the truth and the light. If we all work together, we can make the world a better place.